In this video I'm going to take some photos with a technique known as intentional camera movement or ICM. I know that sounds technical but effectively what I'm going to do is take some photos, I'm going to show you the photos and show you how I've taken them and the settings I've used. As I have been doing in these more recent videos, I'm going to use the Canon 400D or the Rebel XTI as they're called in the States to take these ICM photos just to stretch my photography and see how I can do with this camera as opposed to my Olympus. If photography is an art form, then intentional camera movement is really art. It's painting with your camera. It's using your camera to go up or down or left or right and your camera is your brush. Your camera is the brush painting your canvas. By moving the camera, you're effectively moving your brush up and down, left and right, and painting the scene. I found this composition which shows the, the green leaves and the, the greens that are turning yellow and the vertical lines, and I'm hopeful that these vertical lines will turn into a really nice intentional camera movement photo. I'll take this picture and I'll show you exactly what I do. For this image I've gone 8 tenths of a second, f14 and ISO 100. I want to try to keep the shutter speed between half a second and, uh, and one, one and a half seconds really to get the most intentional camera movement shot. So I'm going to take this picture now and I'll just show you how I do it. So for this shot I'm going to start at the bottom, I'm going to uh, co compose my shot and then as I move I click the shutter button uh, and I move up and that's all I'm going to do. I'll try that again, I'll just try once more, i just focus the picture and as I move up I'm just moving the camera. I'm not terribly bothered about the focus because effectively I want the shot, shot out of focus, I'm not re I don't really care whether it's in focus or not. In some instances you might want to try to make your subject in focus and then maybe I'll show you that in a few minutes. So I've just taken a couple of these shots of these uh, leaves, these yellow and green leaves in a linear format and I'll just put that up now and show you what that looks like. Intentional camera movement photos work really well in woods where you've got that linear format of the trees and you can go up and down. But really what you're looking for is that contrast between light and dark and contrast between colours. So for instance the yellows, the golds, the greens that you see in autumn and also the blacks and the whites. Quite often you see some really nice pictures of lines of silver birch trees that work really well with ICM photos. They look fabulous. But you can also take pictures in town as well. There's buildings, there's all sorts of things going on in town. And, and you can get some great horizontal pictures on the beach. So you can go to the beach, the, the waves crashing against the sand, those lovely lines of waves and sand. It, they make superb ICM photos. But, so you can really take an ICM picture of anything, but as, what you really need is the contrast either between different colours and light and dark, and if you get that contrast then you're got, oh, going to get a winning photo. quite often see these pictures of silver birch trees, lines of silver birch trees that I think look really really good and what you can look for are lines of trees like these three here which are all uh, quite bright in, uh, against the background and th they might make a nice shot so I'll take this picture and once I've taken it I will I'll show you how this looks as well You can get intentional camera movement photos with your phone, but like the camera pictures, you need to set your shutter speed between half a second and two seconds. And to achieve this on a phone, you'd need to probably download an app that enables you to uh, reduce the, your shutter speed. Most cameras, like my Samsung, doesn't allow me to change my aperture, so I have to have a, a set aperture of f1.7. I can't change that. 
but I can change my ISO and I can change my shutter speed and I can change my shutter speed to half a second or one second but I would need an app to do it. I found these rushes that um, I hope will make a good shot and what I will do, I will try and do a linear shot upright and try to move my camera up much the same as I did with those trees earlier. For this shot I've gone one eighth of a second, it's much too fast to be honest but I've gone f22 to try to reduce that and my lowest ISO. Ideally I would want an ND filter on this camera just to be able to slow the shutter speed but I'm going to try and take this shot and I will show you the results that I've come up with. Intentional camera movement really is art and there's no right or wrong way of doing it. There's no right or wrong photo with uh, intentional camera movement. It's you, it's your interpretation and, and it's what you like. It's not what other people like. As long as you're happy with the photo, as long as you like it, that's what counts. That's what makes a good ICM picture. So don't worry about what you see anybody else take. Don't look at theirs and think, oh, theirs is so much different to mine. Just focus on your own photography and enjoy your own photography and take the pictures you like. And if you do that, your pictures will be outstanding. You don't just have to shoot your ICM photos in a linear fashion, either up or down, left or right. You can also twist your camera and try to get a swirl or a circular pattern in your pictures. And I'm going to try and do just that with these berries. I'm going to try and twist the camera, spin the camera around and try to get a spinny, swirly shot of these berries. I'll try this now uh, and I'll show you what the results look like in a second. Once again, it's a, it's a super bright day. The conditions are not really ideal for ICM photography. And I've had to set my camera to f22 and one third of a second, which is not as slow as I'd like it to be. But I have to move the camera a lot quicker to get the effect. So I'll just try that now and let's have a look to see how I do. I've just tried one shot, I'll try a couple more and I'll put the one that I like best up afterwards. If I can, I'd like to keep the berries in the centre of the frame as, as the main subject and try to blur out the background as much as I can. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I very much hope that you've learned something. If you like this video, I'd be very pleased if you'd give the video a like, if you'd click the like button, that would be fabulous. And if you really liked it, I'd be super pleased if you'd click subscribe. And the more subscribers, the more likes that we get for these videos, the more people see these challenge videos and hopefully the more people see us as a community. Uh, once again, thank you very much indeed for watching and good luck with your ICM photography.